so the, yeah, cheese. So the cheese, the great, the reason we looked at cheese um, was <sighs> the the ice cream is difficult to get out of your region um, because once you're outside your own region, then you're competing with so many others and the big boys, and you're just a B2 product. And to get your message uh, to your customers was very difficult because you had distributors and retailers. Uh, in the way who weren't really interested in your story. They just wanted a product that would move. So they wanted it pulled through at the other end, which can be done when you've got big advertising spend, but we don't, so it was quite difficult for us. Um, that's ice cream. The, the difference with cheese, and of course we've been making cheese here up until 1971, so as a, as a youngster I was dragged into the, the dairy, milking and helping with the cheese making well. Uh, it was more doing all the mucking out and cleaning rather than making cheese, you know, they wouldn't trust a youngster to make cheese. But, uh, so we're, we're, it's very much part of our culture. Um, and this cheese, this dairy was built for 40 cows initially and then 70 cows, um, producing 15 tonnes of cheddar, which went to Glasgow um, once a year. <clears throat> this, so this, this was part of that sort of complex, although this barn existed probably back in the 1700s, and, and then was converted into a threshing barn um, for threshing the corn from the farm, um, that separating the, the, the grain from the, the straw and the, the chaff, and um, that's what that was used for. <clears throat> and then latterly it just fell into dis disuse, um, and was just rubbish was thrown in there, it sort of just stuck high with rubbish and the roof was falling in, so it was, it was derelict. Uh, we've spent the last two years um, pretty well rebuilding it and um, and it's our own guys on the farm uh, working away just uh, between jobs so it's uh, we've got a, we're very lucky we've got a chap um, Jim McKnight who is uh, very very skilled with his hands and he's done most of the stonework and uh, made a lovely job of it so it's it's really um, you know it's it's, it's tremendous. We, we were planning three years ago to make our artisan cheese in containers because it would be so much easier with the, all the paperwork that goes with planning and building warrants and stuff. Uh, and then we had a visit from a guy, um, just by pure chance, um, from Andalusia, who uh, actually designed small-scale cheese dairies for artisan producers for, for goat's milk, goat's milk cheese. Um, and when he heard we were thinking to make our cheese in containers, he was horrified. So he, he said, can I have a look at your buildings? And he came around the farm, he looked at all the buildings, and he saw this building, and he said, this is perfect. We were going, really? And it was pretty dead on. It was horrible. <laughs> and uh, he said, it's perfect. So uh, yes, you have, you have your cave. Here is your cave. Whatever. <clears throat> so, but he was right. And, um, and he said, you cannot, if you have customers and you take them to a container, you're making quality cheese. What does this say? So his English wasn't very good, um, but he was—he knew what he was talking about, and uh, and he was dead right. So he had his AutoCAD, and he, he drew this up, and he planned it, and um, this is more or less what he designed. So we'll go down and have a look. Yeah. Yeah.